Hey guys, welcome to VIP News. Last Friday, two bills were introduced to Congress that would effectively legalize marijuana on a federal level. Pro-weed supporters replied with a resounding sweet. The first of these bills would regulate marijuana like alcohol and tobacco. The second would set a standard for taxation. Now, this isn't the first time legislation of this sort has been introduced. What's different this time is that now a majority of Americans are supportive of toking up, but thankfully, still against white guys with dreadlocks. If these bills pass, it will be a dramatic legal shift on how the government deals with marijuana. Currently, the feds rank marijuana's harmfulness in the same category as heroin and ecstasy, which is a little strange when you consider the medical benefits of marijuana are well documented. And also, these grannies really seem to be enjoying themselves. Race Matic. What? What? BB2. When I do it, I really feel like the muscles here in my neck seem not as tight. I totally lost track of what you were talking about. <laughs> I know. I don't feel to me as high as they look to me. Oh, brother. <laughs> I would do it again if I can get this bag of chips open. <laughs> <laughs> The arguments for legalization are numerous. Colorado Representative Jared Polis, who introduced one of the bills, makes it clear. Legalization takes money away from criminals and cartels and grows our economy. A study by the Cato Institute estimates that legalizing marijuana would generate $8.7 billion of new tax revenue. To help explain the medical benefits of marijuana, we've invited family therapist Dr. Stanley Kruger. Doctor, Colorado legalized marijuana last year. What are some of the effects you are seeing? It is terrible. Since the legalization of marijuana, my patients have become stress-free, more down-to-earth, and generally hungrier. I'm sorry, but why would that be terrible? I've lost half my practice. People's anxiety is draining away. But isn't that the goal? Not when you have mouths to feed. Right, but marijuana-derived medicines are some of the most effective anti-seizure drugs on the market. It's also very good at treating PTSD. Sounds like a lot of hearsay to me. There are dozens of studies that support this. <laughs> studies? Who believes in those? Uh, generally doctors. I don't have to respond to that. If not marijuana, what do you recommend to your patients? Long nights of heavy drinking. A steady combination of whiskey and sadness. Doctor, over 17 million Americans suffer from alcoholism. Do you have contacts of their family? Because that's thousands of broken homes. Failed marriages, ruined lives. <laughs> that's great for business. But doctor, there are over 88,000 alcohol-related deaths every year, and zero from marijuana. Note to self, drop off business cards at the nearest funeral home. But you're right, alcohol is as many times more dangerous than marijuana. Now why are you being so honest? I'm drunk! You are a terrible doctor. Hey, would a terrible doctor pick up his kids from school inside a bulldozer? That's the safest piece of heavy machinery on the market. Speaking of which, I'm two hours late. Well, thanks again, doctor. On a more serious note, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this debate. Comment below.